Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to reset page numbers in Adobe Acrobat Pro. I saw this Reddit post not too long ago where the individual was talking about how to set the initial view of their PDF. Um, we've solved that problem, but the issue is that the starting page number is not always listed as one. Some are named cover, some have other sequencing and they want to do this for a bunch of PDFs simultaneously. So basically if you have a PDF here you have your normal you know one to page 42 in this case it's a 42 page PDF but you can see here the actual page number is set to set, uh, section one. If I click out the little fly out here and go to my page thumbnails you can see the first few pages are all labeled as section one then it jumps to one and after page four it jumps back to one and after page uh, eight here it jumps to page five so the sequencing is all out of whack here the actual page numbers in the document is always going to display how many actual um, pages you have but the labeling could be different from one uh, document to the other. I have a couple other examples here. You can see this one is using Roman numerals as like a prefix, um, but it doesn't start with one, it's, st it's starting somewhere else. So the issue comes down to how do we reset this? Uh, this one has a prefix in here for our leaflet insert, and then it starts with the letter E instead of you know a number one. The easy way to just go ahead to reset this back to the standard numbering sequence in your page thumbnails you can just right click and go down to page labels. Now I'll go ahead and I'll select all the pages in the, in the uh, document and I'm going to select my style of 123. I'm going to delete that prefix and I'm going to start everything at number one. And once I hit OK you can see here I still have 12 pages in my uh, document so nothing changed there. But my sequencing has all res been reset back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, etc. Occasionally what can happen is if you're applying further uh, batching or maybe some pre flighting to a file like this, if you have sequencing that doesn't follow the normal you know, 1, 2, 3 format, it can lead to some issues just like the, the person posted on Reddit about how they're um, initial page view was all messed up because of the numbering. So that's a simple way to go through and fix that. All I have to do from here is just hit save and now we're, we're back to our normal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbering sequence. However, if I want to do this across multiple documents simultaneously, I'll need to first create a pre-flight and then secondly create a action in the action wizard to apply it to multiple PDFs all at one time. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to Acrobat. I'm going to go into my tools. I'm going to go print production and I'm going to click pre-flight. Now in order to apply this via an action wizard you have to have a uh, profile and in order to have a fix up in the profile we first need to go into uh, our, our uh, fix up area which is the little wrench icon. We're going to go to options, create fix up, and over here in the find window I'm going to click page and if I scroll all the way down to remove page label this is the fix up that I need to apply and essentially what this is going to do is do the same thing that we just did in the previous step where we're going to reset all of the page labels back to a proper one two three four five sequence um, but it's going to do that for the whole you know it's going to do it for the whole document via a pre-flight so I'm just going to give this a name and I'm just going to call this reset page numbers to one, two, three. I'll click OK. And then I'm going to go back to my profiles here and I'm going to go to options, create profile. And I'm going to name this basically the same reset page numbering to one, two, three. And I'm going to check on my uh, custom fix ups here. Click on that. I'm going to scroll down or I'll just type in reset and that's the fix up we just made. I'll push that over to the left here and I'll click OK 
and now I have this reset page numbering to 123 preflight that we can use to fix the entire PDF. Now we need to create an action to apply this to multiple PDFs simultaneously. So I'm going to go down here to my action wizard. Um, I already created these two, but I'm, actually I'm just going to create a new one. So I'll just go to new action, and I'm going to go ahead and go to document processing, preflight. I'll move that over. I'll uncheck the prompt user. I'll specify my settings here. This is where we need to find that profile that we just created. So I'm going to scroll down to reset page numbering to 123. I'll hit save. And then I'm going to go to save and export and save over here. So that way, once it finishes the pre-flight, it'll just go ahead and save the document so you don't have to constantly hit save and save and save over and over and over again. Uh, also, if you wanted to, you can double click on this and add a um, you can add to the file name, like give it a, a, a pref prefix if you want to, or, or put some other naming convention after the original file name if you want to. I'm not going to bother doing that, but um, I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and now we're going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it uh, Reset Page Numbers, and that's fine. I'll just hit save. You can see here, it put the action at the top of the action list. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click start. And when I do that, it's going to prompt me to grab the files that I want to use. I will grab those three files that I had from in my subfolder. I'll hit select and it'll start this whole process. And now again, it kind of depends on how fast your processor speed is, how quickly this whole thing will happen. Um, I'm using an older Mac Mini, so it might take a minute or so. Um, but what it'll do is when it finishes the pre-flight, you can see here it's working on the pre-flight. Then it, it'll uh, go to the save section. And when that's done, it'll stop. And this will be basically ch uh, check marked here. So now it finished. The last document is still open, but if I close this out and I go back into my first one here, you can see the page numbering has been reset to 1 of 42. And if I go to my um, page thumbnail section, you can see the page labeling has been reset back to the standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, sequencing. And that's going to be true for all three of those PDFs that I created. There's 1 to 10 as opposed to this Roman numeral numbering, this one here, 1 to 12, as opposed to the leaflet insert numbering. So that's how you go ahead and reset page numbering, uh, both individually for a, a single PDF and then to be able to apply that to multiple PDFs via an action uh, in the action wizard. So I hope this is helpful to some folks out there. I know there can be some specific examples that you need to have the page numbers reset. Uh, again, it's uh, usually sometimes if you have a PDF that's kind of been cobbled together from multiple PDFs, or if you have things like bookmarks that you need to reset in order to send it to print or something like that. If you have questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I'm going to go ahead and put a post on my Patreon page with the samples from this, and I'll try to include the um, the actual pre-flight and everything, I'll export that out so you can use that um, to download to your PC and uh, save it in your action, um, your action wizard and your pre-flight. As always, if you can give the uh, video a like, share, and subscribe, it goes a long way to helping out the channel. Just watching the videos is always great. I appreciate all the views. As always, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.